What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast, man. And today's we're going to talk about Kendrick Perkins, man, as the 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 fandom uh, for LeBron James and the medium is very, very real. These guys will go to the extremity of literally uh, taking some of the worst takes uh, to, to support LeBron James. And, and I'm sorry, man. I, I watched this one clip from Kendrick Perkins and turned off the damn TV, man. Like, this guy... Uh, I, I don't know what LeBron James does to these people. I think that these people just hope to get an invite from LeBron James. Maybe LeBron James sends out secret invites to his parties and festivities around Los Angeles. And if you speak against him in the media, maybe you won't get invited to these things. Because Kendrick, Kendrick Perkins went on live TV and said the most outrageous thing. And uh, before I continue to talk about this, I want to ask you guys, please hit that subscribe button, man. And hit that notification bell so you guys can continue to get the latest when I drop my sports media takes. Now, there was a clip of LeBron James. Excuse me. Now, there was a clip of Kendrick Perkins pleading the case for James Harden to be traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's listen to this clip. Whatever the case may be, it's the same thing with LeBron James. And last year we saw it with Dennis Schroeder. If I'm the Los Angeles Lakers, you know, I might be looking to trade for James Harden. James Harden wants to go to the Clippers, but to be honest with you, James Harden to the Lakers makes the most sense. Oh my goodness. Do you guys hear this madness coming from this guy's mouth? First of all, when you when you're thinking about trading for a player, you have to weigh in everything. You have to weigh in personality mesh. You have to work in, you have to weigh in work ethic. You have to weigh in uh, points. You have to weigh in attendance. You have to weigh in accountability. You have to weigh in durability. You have to weigh in all these things that James Harden fails short of. Now, as 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 much as I root against LeBron James, this would be literally sabotaging LeBron James's career. If you get a guy like James Harden, who, who is halfway in the NBA and halfway out of the NBA, who does no longer have, does not have, the heart that he once had for the love of NBA basketball. Why would you want to mix that and mesh that with a guy of LeBron James's work ethic, his love for the game? I can see LeBron James literally getting into a physical altercation with James Harden. As LeBron James is known to have a, a clean record, you don't really hear about him getting into scuffs. I believe that James Harden would be that one person to 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 take him <laughs> over the edge. Now. We saw LeBron James give all he could to a guy uh, and, and Russell Westbrook. And, and this guy actually showed up. This guy is actually durable. This guy is actually accountable. This guy holds everybody else accountable. Russell Westbrook just plays his heart out. And LeBron James still did not want that. So why would he want something opposite of that? Literally is what you're going to get in James Harden. But because Kendrick Perkins, man, you, we all know how this guy goes against the grain to support LeBron James. Uh, all his takes, even when LeBron James is having a bad shooting night, he does not hold LeBron James liable or accountable. Uh, and, and many say that LeBron James owns ESPN, so that could be a huge reason why. But when you got guys like this who go out on a limb, and I want you guys to look carefully at this clip. Kendrick Perkins does not even believe the shit that's coming out of his mouth. He won't even give direct contact to the camera. And he's looking down as he spews this from his mouth. I want you guys to just look at this. If I'm the Los Angeles Lakers, you know, I might be looking to trade for James Harden. Can't even look at the 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 coast, the co-host next to them. You see how Richard Jefferson is looking away and how everybody else is kind of looking. Look at the look at the stink. The stain looks on, on his face, uh, Malik Andrews, Richard Jefferson. The, and let's just look like nobody agrees that this is a good take. They're going to try their best to come out and support him on this and try to like go right back at him. It's just certain things you just don't say. Uh, and this is one of those things. There could have been a million other things this guy could have said to, to, to support the Los Angeles Lakers right now. This was by far the worst take. But this is what happens when guys go out of their way to to just have LeBron James's presence, uh, his name, his affiliation. Man, it, it's it's so crazy. I've never seen nothing like this. People like to say that Michael Jordan had the same type of pull. No, he did not. No, he did not. Most people just supported Jordan because of his mentality and attitude. It's completely different now, man. These cat these cats. 
believe they'll lose their job if they go against LeBron James. He's sitting his dirty neck, black ass up here saying this stupid shit out of his mouth. This shit does not make sense at all. Don't you think that if the Los Angeles Lakers wanted James Harden, they would have uh, been lobbying for this during the offseason? Because it's no secret. People have already been knowing that James Harden has wanted to get out of Philadelphia. It's the NBA. These players text and talk all the time. They hang out outside of uh, basketball. And everybody knew that James Harden wanted to get to L.A. You mean to tell me a guy who has the NBA in a chokehold, uh, LeBron James, in clutch sports, that they did not know James Harden wanted to get traded? They could have easily, easily lobbied for that. Uh, but I would rather have Kyrie Irving, no lie. I would rather have Kyrie Irving, a guy who has proven and won a championship with LeBron James, than a quitter, fat, skinny ass James Harden. And for Kendrick Perkins to go out there, I don't know how Kendrick Perkins still has a job at ESPN. I think that Stephen A. Smith does a great job of vouching for this guy, but his takes are very, very horrendous to me. Uh, he likes to humor people by saying carry you the hell on and stuff like this good day and all that stuff but Kendrick Perkins it sounds like a fat Houston raised hogwash uh fat barbecue pork eating brother who just jumps from the grill to the uh set it gives a horrendous take that's that's what uh this guy Kendrick Perkins does to me and I hate, I literally hate when him, and I hate when Marcus Spears talks. It's just something about these guys that I just don't like. And I don't even make a lot of videos about Kendrick Perkins because he is very irrelevant to me. Uh, this was just crazy, man. And and it's just like, please, please look at me, LeBron James. I'm defending you. Please, please, LeBron James, can, can you see that I go out on a bat for you and embarrass myself uh, and I like to make no sense? Please, please invite me to uh, your next party, LeBron James. Please, please invite me uh, to the next event uh, that you and uh, Draymond Green have. I, I really want to come because uh, I, I believe I could take Shannon Sharp's spot in, in the way that I love you. Stupid. It's, let me, man, let me chill out, man. It, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. This guy could not even look at the camera, and I'm still laughing at the way <laughs> Richard Jefferson is just looking down. Like, what sense does this make? Like, you didn't have nothing else. This is a guy who had all night to study and did not study and, and did not prepare or take good notes. Why would the Los Angeles Lakers look at James Harden and when they see what this guy does to any organization that treats him better than most people treat the Lord and their kids? Why would the Lakers go all in on this guy? LeBron James is all about showing up, being competitive, being accountable, and giving your heart and love to the, to the game of basketball. This would not work at all. Why would you come on this live television show and, and spew this to these good people messing up everybody morning, Kendrick Perkins? People trying to have good coffee, maybe eat them a nice, healthy uh, cafe dinner, maybe have a nice workout. Nobody wants to walk the treadmill and hear this bullshit come out your mouth, Kendrick Perkins. So please, please, please keep these horrendous takes to yourself, man, and stop trying to get the approval of LeBron James. LeBron James probably don't even rock with you like that, man. You ain't got to go out and do stuff like this, man. So, I don't know, man. This is just something that was on my mind. You guys let me know how you feel about this in the comment section. How would James Harden look with the Los Angeles Lakers? And how bad or good is this take uh, that Kendra Perkins just spewed on national TV? How On a scale of 1 to 10, how good or bad was this take? Uh, I'm going to give this take a horrendous 10 on the, bad, on the scale of it being bad. So you guys let me know what y'all think. Like always, like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let me know how you charge the game. Peace.